and Zastava USA Z Pop is here, still in the box. Uh, on top of the box is old N Pop. And uh, as if you guys are with us for a longer time, uh, you know that we do not have a really good track record uh, with uh, the Zastava. So, so the first uh, end pop, which uh, we put through some sort of the grinder, it wasn't a 5,000 rounds test, had the issues with the receiver. Uh, literally, you could flex the receiver in your hands. Uh, and I'm not the incredible Hulk or anything, but <laughs> I was really, squishing that receiver and uh, you could deform it. The second one uh, went through the 5,000 rounds test. It was a completely different end pop. Uh, it was that second end pop which we had and uh, that end pop actually did complete the 5,000 rounds test but be between the rounds 4,000s and the 5,000s it suffered the cracks uh, right here uh, in the uh, rear end of uh, the receiver. Uh, later on that uh, end pop was given away to one of you guys and uh, to my best knowledge the user is still using it despite those uh, cracks in the rear uh, end of uh, the rifle. So as you can see uh, not big luck with uh, the end pops uh, from the past. I still, after the complete comp completion of the 5000 rounds test, I purchased another one. I think this one is 2017, if my memory serves uh, well. Uh, and I got it for below $600. Uh, you could get them uh, for, you know, sub 600 for sure at that time. Uh, and that brings me to what is in the box. So these old ones were imported by Century Arms and uh, this is real end pop. In the box is a brand new import from Zastava USA, a company owned by uh, the people with connections uh, to Serbia of course and they call their mother Zpap. Z -P -A -P. So let me open the box. <laughs> Rifle is uh, from Atlantic Firearms. Uh, they got them on their website for $799. Whoa, the box almost flipped on me. Let me dig out. Okay, beautiful. That's the instruction manual and the magazine. So, you know what, guys? Let's reorganize. Bye bye, box. <laughs> box is out of the picture. Uh, and we'll remove that silly chamber flag too because it's driving me nuts. All right. So, and let, you know what, let's put the magazine to the magazine well, because it looks more badass that way. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm done, done with the bullshit. All right, so this is the Z-Pop. Uh, and as you can see, right off the, right off the bat, uh, Zastava Arms USA, this plain Illinois, that's the importer, ma uh, importer mark versus what was uh, previously, uh, it was just made in, uh, made in Serbia uh, and the Century Arms, uh, Georgia, Vermont. So that, that's the, the, one of the differences uh, right away. But what is uh, also different, the Zastava USA decided to keep as many parts uh, untouched as possible. So uh, by default, they have to use uh, the US made stock. This is the US made handguard, pistol grip, uh, magazine floor and the muzzle device. However, they kept the original, from my understanding, they kept the original uh, trigger fire control group. That's original made in uh, Serbia. Uh, this is the magazine that is on the, yep, there you go, on the magazine floor, there's a marking USA. So that, that uh, sets that down. And looking at the wood, it's hard, hard to tell. The wood is looking nice. It's nice, very nice, like char charcoal-like uh, color, guys, versus what the Century was selling. This was the, the original Century color, right? But as far as the quality of the wood, hard to tell without uh, extensive running, you know, and we'll put this rifle through some sort of the ringer. Um, I don't think we'll do the 5,000 rounds test. That remains to be seen but we'll see what this rifle can do and I'll do the update for you uh, from the some 
form of stress rounds count and things like this. So you're going to have a detailed report. We'll put it uh, on a lap radar to give you the, the muzzle velocities and everything. That's going to happen uh, for sure. You will see scenes probably, or you're seeing scenes already in this video, me of uh, shooting it, but uh, that's going to happen uh, in the next few days. And then I'll uh, edit the video uh, because I wanna see how this rifle shoots, of course. But Basically, this is how it's looking outside. So the outside, let me check all the rivets. Rivets are looking nice. That kind of axis pin. We're going to watch those uh, fire control group pins for sure. Uh, because some of the old uh, Zastavas, they had the problems with egging those holes. Uh, I'm curious to see how the new one will do. Uh, that rivet is kind of, eh, it's okay, it's, it's, I'm not going to bitch, it's $799 rifle, right? Uh, and it looks, um, there is no round in the magazine, guys, and there is no round in the chamber, so don't freak out, I'm pointing at the empty, empty camera, and it looks like mm, we are almost in the center as far as the front post goes. We'll see how this is going to end up after zeroing uh, the rifle and uh, we'll go from there. So from outside, uh, I see uh, the pins are holding up. Of course, that uh, Tapco, this is the Tapco muzzle device. And then we have the rear side leaf with the markings up to 1000 meters and that's exactly the same as it was on the old one everything looks to be honest with you guys everything looks the same uh, when i'm looking at these two rifles uh, in my hand uh, as far as the core bare bones uh, metal. Uh, even the same uh, you know journal marks number two on the barrel number two on the barrel i got two and two on the old one, it is a two and one. The barrel is a uh, cold hammer forged, um, and as it was always on the Zestava, but uh, from my understanding, there is no chrome lining in the bore of the barrel on the 7.62 by 39 rifles. Let me pop the hood, okay, basically the dust cover. It's the same, they kept the button, they kept that uh, button. Some people like it, some people don't. I will tell you right away, if you're getting these rifles, it's a good idea. This is a basically a locking nut for that button to use some uh, blue Loctite on it uh, and uh, you're not going to lose it, okay? Because some guys lost, managed to lose those. The rifle will function without it, you can remove that assembly and uh, you know it will perfectly work fine without that. Now. I'm going to pull out the bolt carrier and this time we'll remove the magazine too and I will have a look inside the chamber and I will tell you for sure there is no chrome lining inside the chamber. Uh, right side of the trunion, uh, there are some marks on it, looks a little bit uh, rough but it's you know sparkling new so hey it is what it is. The opening of the magazine well, uh, we'll have a test with the multiple multiple magazines we'll pull, put all the ma magazines i have different types of magazines i have and uh, we'll see how this is going to uh, end up on the magazine well as you know the magazine well is enlarged here in the united states uh, to accommodate the standard ak magazines and that's again because of our import laws okay so here's that uh, fire control group Double hooks on both sides, so that looks very cool, very nice. Let me have a look into the bolt and the bolt carrier. Uh, it's polished metal, as always, on the Zastavas. Firing pin is looking good, and look at that, that's the machining marks and everything on the bolt carrier. Piston head, looking good too. And then there is the rear end of the bolt. A reasoning for the keeping and sticking to the original fire control group from the beginning for the guys for the Sava USA was that uh, they don't wanna. They they think that the part of the problems of the in the past with uh, the deformed rear ends on the bolt carriers was incorrect or US made fire control groups because of the mismatch of the hardness of the materials. So they hoping that sticking to the original fire control group will eliminate that problem. All right, let me open the 
lever so we can dig out a gas tube and this is that wood I was talking about and looking at the yeah it's it's a it's a little bit nicer wood than what it was again hard to tell uh, how this wood is going to behave because um, we don't know right this has to be tested but uh, looking to the gas, gas tube gas tube is absolutely there are no signs of rust or anything sometimes on those uh, new uh, amp ups uh, um, when I was uh, you know getting them you could still see the, the chips metal chips uh, from when the guys in century were cutting out the magazine wells here I do not see any metal chips so uh, it looks very clean and uh, it's looking good I end the lower handguard nothing uh, nothing jumps out here gas block also clean um, and that's a good thing let me have a look into the bore here is looking good and from the different end absolutely spotless and shiny inside so uh, that's that's great so this is how it is looking like let me let me dig out quickly guys let me dig out quickly the bolt carrier and bolt from the old end pop and I will see if anything jumps out right off the bat that's the or keep those parts separate so I'm not mismatching them or anything recoil spring on mine as you can see I upgraded the recoil spring to the LG recoil spring because the original one was extremely weak so that's my end pop and this is the bolt carrier of course mine is dirty but <laughs> it's okay uh, so this is the the bolt carrier versus the bolt carrier how they both looking like and as you can see on mine uh, there is slight deformation already going on and that rifle uh, is not seeing that much of the action so hey it is what it is that's the that's the old end pop we'll see how this is going to sort out on the new z pops but basically from outside shell everything uh, looks uh, almost identical that piston head is slightly different I think unless no I think it's just dirt on mine so nope take that back other than this everything here is looking the same so we'll put the bolt carriers aside and let's have a look at the bolts and the bolts are looking absolutely identical as well extractor claw everything here is looking the same so uh and they got even you know those uh, uh pencil engraved markings and things like this so absolutely uh cool so yeah it looks with the naked eye the the both rifles they look very very similar to each other right uh the difference is in the wood as i said and uh we'll see how this is going to perform because this is where uh, you know hopefully that difference will be told and I'm looking here inside components everything is looking um, almost you know it's looking the same basically let me make sure there are, there are no other markings on the trigger yeah I do not see any markings on the trigger I do not see uh, the usual C for compliance mark or anything like that so I'm assuming that fire control group truly is made in uh, Serbia and uh, yep by the way the rifle does not have the retainer plate it has a so-called paper clip which annoys the hell out of me and holding those uh, fire control group pins but that's what it is inside um, so next thing what we're going to do is uh, hit the wrench and uh, start putting some rounds of course watching for the temperature we do not we don't we don't want to kill the board of uh, the the barrel uh, we'll see how everything is working and gelling with each other and i'll give you the uh, full and extensive range report after um, putting some rounds to the z pop uh, at this point as i said oh, let me check what is included in the bag stupid me um, and this is of course this is zastava 
manual Z Pop M70. There you go. Nice, nicely done booklet with uh, some basic stuff, when to clean, things like this. Uh, we have uh, congratulations on the purchase of your Z-Pop, yay! And you got the uh, email for the support. And then, of course, the friends from Atlantic Farms <laughs> uh, stuff it in all cool patches and uh, stickers. So thank you very much. There you go, Atlantic crew. <laughs> very cool patches. That's all from Atlantic Farms. Uh, and uh, the uh, zip up from Zastava uh, Arms uh, USA. I hope you did enjoy this episode. Uh, thanks for supporting us. Thanks for watching as always. And stay tuned to more info about the Serbian uh, new kit on the block. Thanks for watching. Zero shots fired. Time for the first no go gauge express uh, test. Let's go. And nothing. Absolutely, I cannot close it. That's a good sign. One more time, a little bit more pressure. Nope. Head spacing is perfect, guys. Zero. So uh, I can start pushing some rounds down the pipe. Let the fun begin.